The results is in. Danny Jacobs rewatched the fight and came to the conclusion that it was a draw. He believes that the judges might have gave Canelo the benefit of the doubt in those swing rounds. He also admitted that, you know, I mean, the article is great. I'm going to put the link in the description, man. I think some of the things he's saying is delusional, but I'm just going to give you what he said. So then I'm going to give you my opinion. He believes that... You know, there were some moments in the fight where he's seen Canelo tired, the fifth or the sixth round, right? And he could have turned the gas up, but he just felt like the weight that he put on and came in the ring with, 190, you know, upwards to 190, he was really sluggish and he couldn't find rhythm early in the fight. He started to find his rhythm later in the fight, which is, I believe that because if you look at it, you know, we can say Jacobs won the back end of the fight. Canelo won the early parts of the fight. And there was some swing rounds that it just looked like Canelo should have got the rounds because he was the aggressor. He was the guy that letting his hands go. He went to the body. He went up top. He was just more aggressive, if you, if you ask me. And, and I like that type of style. But when I watched the fight, when I rewatched the fight, I seen it as a draw as well. Only because the swing rounds... We have to look at power shots, if you ask me. I think uh, Jacob's power shots was real clean, and it really bothered Canelo. And I don't see any shots throughout the whole 12 rounds where Canelo landed clean and hurt Jacob's. Jacob's was just on his back foot, point blank, period. But again, the weight was the issue for Jacob's, like he explained. And he started off slow because he wasn't feeling himself because of the weight again. So, again... I think Jacobs lost the fight when I rewatched it because, and only because, Canelo is the champion. Did Jacobs do enough to beat the champion? No. Did he do enough in the fight to be make it a draw? Yes. But you have to look at how boxing is structured and what the fans want to see and what the judges want you to do to the champion. That's be him decisively. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm going to give the fight to Canelo. I picked Canelo to win the fight. I was going with Jacobs from the heart. Yeah, that's my guy. But I got to call down the middle. You understand me? So it was no robbery. He did not do enough to beat Canelo. Let me make that clear. People was in the comments section talking crazy. I told you dudes. I had to rewatch it. And I did. And I still found that those swing rounds should have went to Jacob. You know, it was like four of them there. And it could have been an even split down the middle, those swing rounds. But... He did not beat the champion. Canelo stays undefeated, in my opinion, because Floyd versus Floyd, that don't count. He's undefeated. Point blank, period. At the end of the day, Canelo has shown that he's great. Uh, it's going to be hard for any fighter to get in the ring and beat this guy. I mean, this kid gets better and better every time out, and he shows different facets to his game. I mean, I don't know. We got to check his DNA, man, but I've never seen. And you tell me if you've seen. Maybe I don't know boxing. Maybe I am a casual, but I've never seen a Mexican move the way this guy moves, man. I mean, footwork, defense. You dig head movement, body movement, you know, front foot dominant, on the back foot combinations, power, explosiveness. He does it in spurts. He could do it for, you know, a whole round if you have to because he was the attacker. You understand what I'm saying? Jacobs, in my opinion, should have pushed Canelo back, used his height, used his, his jab, his length. He didn't do none of that, bro. And that's what he should have done in the early part of the fight to set things up for the later part of the fight because I did see Canelo tired. I see him gasping for air, but it was because of those body shots from Jacobs. It was because of those head shots from Jacobs. Jacobs had this kid on the ropes and was going ham, but I only see a one-two. Maybe a one-two-three, but I think Jacobs was scared of the counterpunch, and I believe that once a guy, like Floyd always said, and I never believed it, man, but this is... This is true, man. When a guy gets knocked out in his career or knocked down in his career, it does something to them. It really do. Because I guess in the back of their mind, they're always thinking about that knockout or being embarrassed or, you know, failing miserably at the top, uh, you know, in the under the big lights in front of everybody. And that's embarrassing. So you'd rather just be cautious and hopefully something will come and work for you. But when you fight like that, you can't be a champion. When you fight like that, you, you, you definitely can't move on to start him, man. And Jacobs missed his opportunity. He had the tools. He had the abilities. But, you know, Jacobs needs to go back to the drawing board. And if Jacobs don't change something about his weight, 
He don't change something about his training. And if he don't add a jab, he will be just an ordinary fighter, man. Uh, maybe a, a gatekeeper, probably. I mean, I still see him doing some things. But if you get him in the ring with Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo is front foot dominant. I don't really see Jamal on the back foot. Great jab and great power. You're going to have to take the fight to Jamal in order to win the judges. You know, you're going to have to actually make Charlo respect your power, respect your jab, respect your movement. You got to do that in order to beat Jamal Charlo. You see what I'm saying? Jamal Charlo fought bums, but he's shown different things fighting them. That lets me know a jab bothers him, activity bothers him, and movement bothers him. Denny Jacobs can do it all, but he can't do any of those things perfect. So, Jacobs needs to find a jab, and he needs to learn the jab. The jab is the... St I don't understand when you're growing up, man... I, look, man, when I was growing up putting hands and feet on dudes in my hood, man, I wasn't trained by anybody in the gym. I just, I guess it was something that I just thought of on my own. And you just, just a knack just was, was connected to me where my jab, I didn't even know it was a jab. I just do my one. You do the jab. Boom. And I knew that it set up everything else that I wanted to do to the guys on the streets. You see what I'm saying? Until I got into the gym, I learned that the jab was important. I said, okay, I already know how to do that. I already know how to give him the one-two. And then my trainer showed me different things. And I was much, much better uh, for that training because I was fighting dudes on the street after being trained properly and the smoking dudes, man. I was going to the body on dudes when dudes wouldn't understand it. When I think to the body, you know, dudes wouldn't even go to block it because no one fights and goes to the body. So when I would go to the body, I was sucking every energy out of them. I mean, put dudes down by just going to the body. That's on everything. You dig? So I don't understand these professionals not understanding how much important a jab is. You see what I'm saying? You guys going to see some clips of your boy CBT real soon, man. I just need to edit some things and, you know, make it make it look real good and nice. You see what I'm talking about, man? I'm going to show you with the jabs. I'm going to show you how CBT moves. I'm going to show you why I believe that I'll put hands and feet on the weight bully. Point blank, period, man. Put me in the ring with him, man. Put me in the ring with him. You see me? But at the end of the day, Jacobs is delusional at this point. After watching the fight, I believe he should succeed that Canelo won the fight because you did not he did not beat the champion point blank period i thought it was a great fight a lot of guys came to the page and said yo cbt it was the boring fight why are you so hyped man i love boxing bro i was i was putting that i was watching the undercards i lost why i said i could rock with the zone because the zone is not at this moment gonna give me you know they're gonna give me 12 fights but they undercards. They're guys you don't know of. Guys that haven't ever been on television. And I just love two guys getting in the ring showing the sweet science. It teaches me a lot of different things. And I love boxing. So I like it all. But this fight was not boring. I think the fight should have been more explosive than it was. Because we got two killers in there. And you, you know Jacobs can, can bang. We know Canelo going to do what he do. But if the fight was boring, I would have to succeed that it had to be on the part of Danny Jacobs. He was on the back foot. He did not engage. He did not try to, you know, get in the fire in exchange. So we got to blame that on Jacobs. Canelo did what he had to do. At the end of the day, man, I just did a video on the way Bully Spence and Canelo, and that's a great fight. I would love to see the fight. I talked everything I had to talk about about that fight. So go check that video, man, because that's the fight to see. And that's the fight that I think would warrant Spence to move up and wait to fight a guy like Canelo. Nobody else. I mean, I want to see him at 54, but he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna do it. He did, and, and I think he got more business to take care at 147. Porter, Keith, maybe Pacquiao, but definitely Crawford. So there's some fights down there that he needs to, you know, accomplish. Or, or, or hopefully, if he can win, which I don't believe he will, he's not getting past Porter. Put your money on the wall. We ain't gonna talk about that. Holla at your boy. Subscribe to the channel. You rocking with the best channel on YouTube. Peace. Audio. <laughs> yeah. New media. New perspective. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. Oh, it's all so about casual you box and talk. <laughs> Just when you thought you so had to figure it out, new media, new perspective, casual box and talk.